Hey, everybody. Y'all ready to go down another back road with me? I'm telling y'all, there's a, there's a never-ending supply of these back roads around here. I haven't even begun to show y'all all the back roads. That's all we used to do on the weekend was ride the back roads and talk, listen to music. Back then, long time ago, these was all sand roads and red dirt roads. And boy, I'm telling you, you had to be in a truck back then or you'd get stuck in that sand. My Explorer is four-wheel drive, so I ain't worried about it, but back then you had to have truck and then you'd still almost get stuck. The ruts would be so deep in that old sand. We rode on the tailgate of the truck, let our feet hang off. My son lost his shoe one time <laughs> when he was little. We was on a hayride with the church and he lost his shoe. And we all went to hollering and the man driving the truck stopped and we was a good ways and we had to run back down that road and get his shoe. I'll never forget that. I don't know how old he was. Probably fixing to go into junior high, maybe. I'm not sure. But, um, yeah, he had on white high-top tennis shoes. I'll never forget it, and that shoe came off on that hayride. We had a weenie roast and did some stuff for the kids. It was in the fall, and uh, we'd always do little hayrides. Somebody would bring their tractor, their truck, little trailer, and we'd drive them through all these sand flats, they call it back here, it was all sand roads. I'm going to take y'all down here and show y'all when I quit going to that church up there, Mount Enterprise. I'm going to show y'all this little church and then I'm going to, I'm going to have to head home if I'm going to beat dark 30. I wasn't planning on being out this long, but I really didn't get out till late. And I've just been riding slow and in between videos and just sightseeing, enjoying it. When I go out like this, y'all, I'll make several videos and and upload one, you know, here or there. So I don't I don't go out every day and make a video. I, I don't have time to do that. I have to go on my day off when I, I ain't got nothing to do. I have to schedule a day off to do to do this. I try to do it about one day a week. Uh, unless I just happen to be going somewhere that I can make a video when I'm going. Um, I don't have time to get up every day and go out and drive somewhere. And when I do it like this, it's less miles too, you know, because uh, I'll video it in a, in a, uh, you know, a few miles, a few miles of each other. Uh, if I like drove back out here every day, I couldn't do that. I'd be burning up too much gas. So uh, if I make several videos in, in one day, well, uh, it's usually kind of a close, you know, within a few miles of each other. I try to, uh, you know, kind of come up with some kind of plan of the area. And, and so far, I've been able to do it. Y'all, back through here years ago, used to be full of dogwood trees. And in the spring, they were beautiful. And they come in here and cut all the timber out. And I'm glad to see that it's growing back up because I've come out here a few times and I mean, it was cut flat to the ground. So I'm glad to see all the trees are coming back up out here because they butchered this land out here at one time. I mean, it looked like you dropped an atomic bomb on it or something. I almost cried.
cried the first day I came out here and saw what they did. Because I always thought all the trees out here was so beautiful. Y'all, and if this church out here and another church over close to my house that I went to, we had the picnic tables out on the ground. Well, it wasn't no picnic tables. It was boards nailed between the trees. Some of y'all know what I'm talking about. And man, we'd have dinner on the ground. I'm gonna have to pull over, y'all. There is a truck. And mister, he is in a hurry to get somewhere. I don't know where he's going, but let me tell you, he's got places to be. Anyway, we would have the best food. Those women would cook. Oh my gosh. You just couldn't eat all you wanted, y'all. And it would be anything you could imagine. Man, some good memories there. I don't even know if churches do that anymore. None of the ones I know do. But everybody, I mean, would cook. And you talk about a feast. Man, you, you couldn't eat enough. Okay. Here's the... Here's a little church right here, y'all. And here's the here's the old church over here. They've been doing a little work on it. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. And I don't know how old that is, but it's old, old, old. And this ground right here, this is where the tables were, y'all. That's where the tables were. And we would have a feast. <coughs> Excuse me. I've talked too long. My throat's getting dry. And that's that's the little church right there. And on the other side of it, there's a water faucet. Outside water faucet. Y'all, I don't know if it still works or not. I hadn't been over here in years. I know they still have church there, though, on Sunday morning. And there's the old, old cemetery. This is Old Prospect Church out in the sand flats in Russ County. Oh, Prospect. And uh, we started coming out here and my son learned to drive on this road. He drove a lot of Sundays on this road with his grandpa. And uh, anyway, those women would bring, we'd have singing all afternoon. And those women, those old women and men would get up there and sing and harmonize to just piano. Some of the prettiest music, some of the prettiest songs you ever want to hear. And they all wanted me to sing alto because my voice is deep. I'd sing a little bit, but I didn't sing much. But I used to sing on the radio with my aunt when I was growing up. We had a radio station in Nacogdoches. And Barney Vardaman, for the ones that know what I'm talking about, they'll remember it. And they had a Sunday morning gospel show. And we would go sing on the radio before we'd go to church. And I love doing that. I remember doing that, just singing my heart out. And I don't guess we have any pictures of us doing that. And I wish that I had pictures of my aunts, but I'm telling y'all, I remember doing that with them. I was little, I was young, but I remember going and doing that. We'd just sing old gospel hymns. But I used to love to sing. I still do, uh, but I can't sing. I used to think I could, I guess. Lord, he waved. Y'all see? Folks in the backwoods, like friend. Because y'all, we out here in the middle of nowhere. There ain't nothing out here. Trees. Whatever wildlife there is in the wood. We out here in the middle of God's country. And when I lived here, I drove these back roads. Just get out and ride and go. I'd get tired of sitting at home. And you get get five dollars worth of gas and ride all weekend long. I put many of my 
miles on my old Monte Carlo. Just riding. Killing time. Yeah, all the sun's starting to go down. We might get a sunset. I don't know. It's kind of cloudy. Well, I hope everybody's had a good day. And I'll post these over this coming week. Maybe week and a half, I'm not sure. Depends on if I come up with some little video around the house there. Sometimes I may post them and hold these for another day. But um, if y'all look up anything in the area and wanna go, wanna see it, and if it's possible for me to go video it and show y'all, I will. Uh, or if y'all have any questions I'll try to answer them but uh, we're going to be back to the road here in the highway in a few minutes and when we get there I'm setting the cruise control and I'm going to let this Ford take me home and uh, Brinley's stretching around back there I think she's ready to get out for a minute she, she sat there about long enough I think bless her heart she does good riding though y'all she does good riding, and I take her as much as I can. So when I do travel somewhere or do something, you know, she's used to it. I want her to be able to sit, you know, to sit there and ride for for a few hours um, and, and be comfortable. And, you know, I can get out and go in the store when the weather's nice. I did earlier. I wasn't in there probably 30 minutes. But when I come out, She's sitting right there in that seat, y'all. She won't get out. And she don't have to be bungled into it. She just sits right there. But she don't know. She don't know to get out of that seat and do anything else in the car. Because she's never done that. I never let her. I taught her to sit in that seat when she's in this car. And that's what she does. She don't chew on nothing. She don't tear up nothing. She's a good baby, y'all. And she was a snuggle buddy this morning. Y'all see them pictures I posted? Oh, she was all up in my armpit. She just snuggles up, rubs her little head up against me, and oh, she just loves y'all. She's got good loving. But anyway, y'all, I just had a thought coming down this hill right here when my son was learning to drive. And there's a little hump right here. You go up right here. And if you get going fast enough down that hill and you go up that hump, you'll get that little, you know, it takes your breath away feeling. My son used to call it relief. He'd tell you, Mama, I'm going to give you relief. <laughs> I'd be like, okay. And he'd pick up a little speed coming down that hill. And he'd hit that little knoll and it'd kind of go up, you know. And, uh, boy, he thought he was doing something. Gonna give you relief. Y'all have a good evening. And be blessed. And don't forget to say your prayers. Thank y'all for subscribing and watching my nonsense. <laughs>